Hey everyone, welcome to Pawfology. So it's currently uh, 6.53 a.m. in the morning and uh, I'm going to Starbucks. So I'm starting my day getting some coffee for Emily and I at Starbucks and a pastry. Uh, she's getting a croissant and I'm gonna get a bagel. So that's what I'm doing. Thought it would be a nice way to start the Friday to get some Starbucks and yeah go from there you know i would so here's the deal i wouldn't go to starbucks if local shops were open this early but most of the local coffee shops that i go to at least that i'm aware of they do not open until 7 a.m so and i've already placed my order with starbucks so i have to be i start work at 7 30 so that's why i'm not going somewhere local if there was if there was ones that were open maybe at 6 30 yeah I, I would definitely go there but that's what i'm doing today that's what i'm doing right now so it's very early and i'm just gonna go there and yeah i don't know if i'm gonna record on my way there because it's still dark outside so yeah but maybe i'll record when i get there i might have to wait for my food for a couple minutes so we'll see what happens okay I'm gonna go now and I'll see you very soon. Not sure if you can see me. It's very dark outside besides, well, you know, it's not super dark. The moon is still super duper bright right now. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's all, it's crazy how bright it is. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try to make you see it. You see that little dot above the the truck? Or maybe you see two dots, I don't know. But there's the moon. So hopefully today will go by fast. I got to get ready to go to Vita tonight. I got, I'm sure we, ha I'm gonna, we gotta dress up, I think. So. They're uh, essentially, I, th I might be wrong on this, but they're a modern day white tablecloth restaurant. So that'll be good, that'll be exciting. And then this weekend, I don't know what we're doing, but I hope to go to that Rabble coffee place. And uh, yeah, just I just go there probably and sleep in and just do whatever. So I am going to, bro, there's someone here. There's people with their, someone's just sitting in the uh, road with their emergency lights on. Wow, it's early. Okay, I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh man, I had a thought, I had a thought. Oh well, well, I'm gonna pay for parking. I'm gonna just pay, I don't know, maybe should I, maybe I shouldn't pay? Oh, this lady didn't pay, do I need to pay? I don't know, okay, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay, okay. So I got my Starbucks drinks and uh, lighting's pretty bad right here, I think, maybe. But I got a cold brew, nitro cold brew, and a latte, vanilla latte for Emily, and a bagel and a butter croissant. So I got a bagel, Emily got a butter croissant. So now I'm on my way back. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is a, uh, it's, there's actually more people down here than I thought there would be. So very interesting. A few times I've come to Starbucks before 7 a.m. and no one's been here. So I guess it's probably because it's a Friday. You know, everyone's probably also getting Starbucks. So, okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go back and I'll see you in just a second. So I'm on my way back, ready to get started for the day. Here's the deal, unpopular opinion. I really like Starbucks's uh, bagels. 
I think they're, uh, I think they're good. I, I, well, the only reason I say it's an unpopular opinion is because most of my friends do not like it, but I think they're good. And I definitely see the flaws in the Starbucks bagel, but I still think they're good. They, they have a unique texture that only a artificially made bagel could have. It's very chewy and extra, extra, extra chewy and can be crispy as well, <laughs> depending on how old the bagel is. Anyway, I, I like them. And then, uh, you know, Emily gets a butter croissant sometimes. I don't really have an opinion on croissants. They're, they're kind of just whatever, kind of tasteless. I mean, I, I've gotten some from Amelia's and Circle City Suites, and um, they're fine. They're fine. I mean, I'm well, I know theirs are like European made, you know, very flaky, very crispy, but I just, you know, I'm just not, I'm not impressed by the concept of, uh, whatever crescents crescent rolls not crescent rolls but whatever they're called i just said it but butter croissant or croissants well this dude is riding my tail got somewhere to be well i'm gonna go now i'm gonna i'll record more of my day and what happens today uh, in just a little bit. So I'll talk to you very soon. See you in a second, bye. Hey everyone, so here's what I got from Starbucks. I got a nitro cold brew with sweet cream. And uh, yeah, it's it definitely looks more diluted than normal. I mean, I, it looks more creamy than normal. So, yeah, it's it's good. It doesn't taste as strong as they normally do. It's probably because of that cream. But in general, I I like their cold nitro cold brews. I like their cold brews as well. So, um, but that these have a lot of caffeine compared to, in my opinion, compared to a regular cup of coffee. Uh, for some reason, they just they get, they make me more jittery than normal. So, or they, yeah, they just make me very jittery. And then I got Emily a latte and it has a little heart on it. That's, that's nice of them. And I got a bagel. Oh no, I don't know if they gave me cream cheese. Oh well, and then Oh, is that super loud? Okay. And Emily got a croissant. So that's what we got. And now I'm going to go upstairs and get to work uh, in about 10 minutes. So uh, I'll check back in and show you a little bit what I'm doing today around my lunchtime. And then um, I'll probably I'll probably do my best to finish up at lunch and then I'll I'll get ready for Vita or I'll go back to work, get ready for Vita. And on as we go to Vita, we walk to Vita, I'll be recording for tomorrow's vlog. And I'm going to try to record uh, some of Vita, but you know, it, I, I don't know if that's weird. It's a pretty small restaurant and it's expensive, sort of. No, it is expensive. So, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to do that. We'll see what happens with it, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you in just a second. Hey everyone, so I just got off work and I'm, I am about to get ready to go to Vita. So uh, I'm just gonna dress nice and Emily will be home in just a few minutes. Um, but yeah, so I really have been super busy all day. I didn't really have much time on my lunch break to film anything. Uh, so yeah, but I have time now. So I probably, as I said before, I'm gonna share Vita tomorrow, us uh, going there and just the experience and we'll let you know how it is. Hopefully it's good. So, um, but so here's a couple things I've been thinking about and doing. 
Um, I can hear a train right now. I don't know if you can hear the train. It's not, it's kind of faint, but uh, actually, well, here's a random topic. There's, we, when we first moved to Indy, there were these apartments that were super nice, but they're right near the train tracks. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure Pacers live in that apartment as well, the Pacers, like NBA people. Uh, a couple of them live over there, but I don't, I mean, the train is right there and it's so loud. We were reading reviews about it. I don't know the apartment's name, but I remember we went there and it was nice, it was good, but I don't wanna live right beside a train track and hear it go by so many times. And then Indy, at least in where this area in downtown, a train comes through Indy very frequently. We don't hear it too, I mean, honestly, we barely hear it and it's not a big deal, but I feel so bad for people that live further down near the tracks because the train comes by multiple times. Like even at 1030, it will be, you know, doing its train horn and super loud. So that's just something. Another thing is I've been researching uh, batteries. Man, you know, you get into this world of, uh, like when you research a product, everyone has opinions and, you know, use this and this and this. So I've been looking for long lasting AAA and AA batteries. So I eventually landed on, I, I guess the best ones would be these thing, these batteries called E-Loops made by Panasonic. They're rechargeable. But part of me is like, they're not really the best. I started doing more research on them and they're the best rechargeable ones. They can hold 900, they have a 950 whatever capacity, but Duracell's premium brand has 975 capacity. So I don't know why people say that's the longest lasting battery besides it's rechargeable. You know, these E-Loop Panasonic batteries, pro version, they're, they, they're very similar to the best disposable ones, but they're rechargeable. But they don't last as long as the disposable ones. So, but I, I'm sure people just recommend it because it's better for the environment, which I completely agree. I'm sure batteries are horrible and, you know, but if, I mean, how, I, I'm, I'm just looking for the best, longest lasting battery. I had a friend in high school whose dad worked at some factory and they had all these specialized AA batteries that I guess you only can get if you work in a, I, I don't know what factory it was, but he would always get a couple and take them home with him. I don't know if that's legal, but whatever he did anyways. They were, I think they were some type of lithium battery, but I've been doing that. So I don't think I'm gonna buy the rechargeable batteries, but maybe I will. Do any of you, uh, use rechargeable batteries as far as your double A and your triple A batteries. I mean, I really don't feel like I go through enough of them to justify spending the money for a rechargeable, but at the same time, they're better for the environment. It's a dilemma. I don't know. I'll honestly probably just end up getting the disposable ones, but I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, me, I use them for different lots of different things around the house. And then for recording, sometimes I use something that uses a battery and I just don't wanna keep going through them. But at the same time, I've only, okay, whatever. So that, that's what I'm thinking. I also, I did, not, uh, I did not jump my car yet. So this car jumper pack is still charging and I think it's almost done. I know, isn't this so drama? It takes, easily takes 48 hours to charge. I mean, the manual says 72 hours. I didn't think it was actually gonna take that long, but it's a pretty, it's one of the bigger uh, st jump starter machines. So it's not, it's not one of those handheld ones that you can buy. It's a very big one that can do multiple jump starts. So I'm just gonna charge it up all the way. So if I ever do need to use it in the next couple months, I have it available, so. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna get it ready. And so if I ever do need it, it's ready to go. And what else? I think that's that's about all. That's all I've really been doing. Just looking at batteries. I really didn't watch anything that interesting. I'm trying to find a new show, but I'm still recovering from 
uh, the, the show industry. I really liked it. So, you know, you find a good show and it just takes a while to, to get into another show, at least for me. And I, I have, I haven't finished Sabrina just because I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like the last season. <clears throat> and I normally like, I, I've liked every season of Sabrina. And yeah, so I've been looking around. I've been looking at HBO and Netflix just to see what's available. I started watching some crime thing on Netflix. I forget what it's called, but it's a, it's one of the newer shows that just came out. But I, I don't remember it. I guess it didn't interest me enough to remember the name. Hmm. If you're still watching this, if you're still watching Comment down below. Oh, what what do I sunglasses? I got sunglasses. Comment down below. Sunglasses. These are sunglasses I got at Target seven years ago. Seven years. That's so crazy. I used to have these Ray-Ban sunglasses that honestly look exactly like those sunglasses. They were prescription based and they were amazing. I just broke them. So I, they snapped and I just never got new ones. I probably won't buy new sunglasses. I, you know, I actually got those sunglasses probably 10 years ago and uh, glasses have come a long way as far as price. I mean, because you can use all of those glasses, gla like Walby Parker, whatever, is that what it's called? Something Parker, Eyeglass Direct or there's all these companies that provide cheaper glasses. All you need is a prescription. I'm sure they have sunglasses versus Ray-Bans that pr probably cost five, six, seven times that price of what they can provide you. And I, yeah, they just don't have, I feel like Ray-Bans don't have the same feel like they used to, you know, because there's so many different types of mock Ray-Bans. There's, you know, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a Walby Parker or another knockoff Ray-Ban versus a Ray-Ban. You know, to me, if you if you wore these in, in real person, in real life, I you know, and I was up close to you, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to tell. I, mean, I got these for 15 bucks at Target. So, well, I think that's all for today. I'm going to work on getting this posted before I go to Vita, before Emily and I go to Vita. And um, that's all. So I hope you're having a good day. It's very sunny here in Indy, a very beautiful day. And uh, did, you, did any of you notice the moon yesterday? At least for us in Indy, it was super bright, very beautiful. You know, that's one thing I do wish I had that I have in Virginia is a telescope. Uh, not that you could really stare at the moon without a moon filter, but hey, it's still fun when the moon is full to look at the moon. It's so interesting. Space is so interesting. It's, uh, it's just captivating. So I like space. Not that I would ever want to go there. I'm, I am not going to go to Mars, more than likely. I wouldn't want to go to space. No, thank you. I've, but it is interesting, you know. It sounds, it's very beautiful to look at and fun to have a telescope, but telescopes are so expensive. If they get a nice telescope, it's it's easily twelve, thirteen hundred dollars just for a nice beginner's well, okay. No, you can get a beginner's telescope for three hundred or less, but a really nice one that can kind of uh I don't know, you can do really I don't I don't know what I'm saying, but Telescope industry is very expensive and it's a very expensive hobby if you want to get serious with it, which I would imagine in the future, it will be a lot less expensive. It will be much cheaper just because of technology. So yeah, you can do photography of space. Those are always interesting. The picture, people taking pictures and posting them. I think NASA has a, a website or a section on their website where you can see some of the photos they've taken. Really interesting, but it's amazing how far cameras have come. Even a little Sony A6400, 6600 can get some really good pictures. Even even ones that are cheaper than that. You you know, if you're able to hook it up to the right telescope, get some stellar, stellar pictures. I've never done that though, but I would like to, maybe when I'm 
a lot older and I have a little bit more free time and if I lived in a more rural place. But I honestly probably will not live uh, in a place that doesn't have light pollution anytime soon. Maybe I will when I'm older. Who knows? Who knows? You know, I, I do think it, man, I'm talking so much. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to land this plane. I'm gonna go now. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great weekend. I hope uh, you, you have some fun this weekend or week whenever you watch this. I'm going to go now. If no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world is a better place because you are here.